Hi, welcome to another uh, CAD tip tutorial from Fasten Architecture. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to look at the sort of simple use of text in CAD. Uh, I know a lot of people when they first start using CAD find text really awkward and difficult, so hopefully we'll just go for the easiest way to use text and how to make some minor sort of modifications and amendments to it. Um, so let's get started. Um, first of all, there are two sort of main types of text you can use. Um, there's simple single line text and multi line text. Um, in my opinion, I would always go for multi line text because it just offers you a little bit more flexibility. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use this. Okay, so we start off by typing in our command for multi line text, which is nice and easy to remember. It's just m text. So I type that in, press enter. First thing it asks you to do is specify the first corner of where you're wanting your text to start. So I'm just going to make a small box here above the uh, little sample text I've got there. And just any size, it doesn't matter for the time being, and click. So what it does, it brings up this area where you're going to write your text here. As you can see, it's a ridiculously long line. We'll come back to that. Um, and then this small text editor, which gives you some basic formatting options. Um, so for the time being, I'm going to leave it as standard. But I'm going to amend the size here. 0.2 is ridiculously tiny. Once you finish typing, you probably won't even be able to see the text. So I'm going to put that in at 100. Nice round number, uh, nice one to start with. And I'm going to press enter after I've written that in. And you can see that changes the size of the text area we're going to be writing in. And this is where you can sometimes get in a bit of a muddle because it isn't, you can't always see what you're typing. Um, so one option here is just to zoom out a bit and now it's a little bit clearer as to what's going to be happening. So I'm just going to type in um, this is a test. You can see it's gone all over the place. All I've done is type some text. But just bear with it. Press enter and uh, click save for um, saving the text you've just written. You can see if I zoom back in there it is. So that's size 100, a very basic form of uh, multi-line text. Um, so you might be thinking, well, that's not multi-line. Um, so let's have a look at that and, um, and expand on it a little bit more. So these grip points are demonstrating how big this area is. Now, when I first drew that box um, to specify the area for the text, that box was up to um, this right-hand blue arrow here. So that's the arrow I've, I've given myself to work with. So if I just double click on this text, we can add to it. So I'm literally just going to copy and paste the same sentence again to save time. And you can see that what it's done is it's um, filling the box, the size that I've given, and then going on to the next line. Now, you can expand the box if you want to, just by pulling this along. So we could continue typing. Um, and then if maybe you change your mind, you can pull it back down again and make it smaller, much smaller, much smaller, and it will just automatically fill the text as required. Um, so that's just how you can resize your text there. I clicked out of the box, and there we go, it saves those changes that we've made. If we zoom in a little bit, let's have a look at some of the other formatting options we have here. I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm not going to show you all the you know, overly complicated stuff you can do. Um, but let's have a look at different text styles. So I have this text style set up here called Century Gothic already. Um, and if I click on that, it makes the change and it's amended that text style. So if I click away, it save that. Let's just move that out of the way. Okay. Now the other thing you can do with um, with your text is uh, amend it from the Properties Inspector. So you can see here on the right hand side I've got my Properties Inspector box. If I just scroll down um, to the text section, you can see some of the options that are available to you. For example, uh, we can amend the justification of the text. And you can see I didn't have to highlight it, I've just got the whole um, box of text selected there. So you can make quick changes to text without sort of delving into the text editor itself. You can change the rotation. Useful if you're trying to write things along a line or on angles, things like that. Uh, you can change the actual height from within this box. So let's do that. Let's change it back down to 100. It's made it smaller and let's change the rotation back to naught. Okay, so moving on. Um, let's have a little bit of a look at text styles. So what text styles are is they're like um, 
pre-formatted um, text selections that you can use and implement so you're not having to rechange the font every time you put in new text and redo the sizing, spacing, um, all those sort of things. You can set up um, your own versions of what you would like to use and what I would recommend once again as I always do is having a template with all of these things set up like your dimensions, your text styles, your layers, um, all those sort of things and everything's ready to be used and it saves you so much time in, in the long run. It's a bit of a pain to do initially but once you've done it you can keep on adding to it as you get better at CAD and you start learning how to do new things um, and it will become invaluable to you um, in your future. So let's have a look at these text styles. So I'm going to type in text style edit. Now you can see it's come up with that option there so I'm going to write in the whole thing edit and this brings up our textile editor. You can see I've got a few set up here already. Um, specifically, uh, that's the Century Gothic one that we've been using. So what I'm going to do is we're going to set up a new one. I'm going to click on the little plus button there to start a new style. And I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it Text Tutorial. Just so that we know which one it is. Okay. Um, and I'm going to use a... Uh, what should we go for? Got too much text in here to choose from. Okay, let's go for Korea. Mm, shall we? No, let's go for that. Let's see if this is going to work. Okay, text height. I'm going to go for 100. And you can see you can make some other changes, but I'm going to keep it basic for now. Um, and I'm going to click apply. Okay, so I'm now going to close that box. Okay, so I'm going to select um, this text here and see if we can change it to the new text style that we've just set up. So I'm going to select this text here. And um, as I mentioned before, we can make some changes in our Properties Inspector box. So I'm going to scroll down to the text area. And it's only the second option here where it says Style. So I'm going to drop down that menu. You can see we've got Text Tutorial there. So I'm going to select that. And there you can see it's changed the text to um, the different font that I set up and it's reduced it down to the size that I set up as well. Um, so this is really useful as you can see whether you've got um, different types of fonts that demonstrate different things within your drawing. For example, you might have your room names big and bold but then um, detailed text sort of describing certain parts of the building which you'd want a bit smaller and, and more detailed. Um, so this is a, a useful way of using text styles. Um, so I hope you find those helpful. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this has given you a very quick and easy introduction to using text in CAD. Um, I just thought of one other thing I was going to say. Sometimes I find it might just be my CAD copy, but um, it, text is difficult to select and it, it won't um, select for you. And a quick sort of remedy of that is just to regen your drawing. Um, to re regenerate your drawing, you just type in RE for regen and press enter doesn't appear to do anything usually but what you find is sometimes if there's a little bug or something going wrong in the drawing it will just sort of eliminate that and then you can select your text normally. Um, so yeah that's it that's everything I was going to say. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial and that you've got something to take away from it and um, see you next time.